Hello and welcome to my Facebook challenge day five. Today we're going to discuss how you can add a service widget to your Facebook business page. So we're on my social media and WordPress training page and on the left hand side of your page you can see several tabs as you go up and down with your mouse. One of those tabs is called services. If you don't see that on your Facebook business page, it may be that you haven't completed the about section and the page info correctly. You do need an address with contact details um, on your page before you activate some of the services that you can get. And one of them may be the service widget. That also might be um, dependable on which category your business page is under, whether you're offering professional services or products etc if obviously you're offering products the service widget may not be applicable okay so to start off with what we do is we click services now that will open up this small little box and you say add a service okay so there you've got four sections to fill in the name of your service the price of your service the description of your service and a photograph that will um, help people understand what your service does. So the name can only be up to 40 characters. So I prepared mine earlier and I'm just going to copy and paste that in. Like so. Okay, and then the price, I'm going to put from 75 pound because my packages vary depending on the needs of the client. So I'm just going to put that and then description. Again, I prepared something, so I'm just going to copy and paste that over. Okay. And then the photograph, it will give you an option of taking the photographs from your Facebook page that we already have, or you can upload it from your computer. So I prepared a couple of photographs I was going to use, so I am going to select one of those. There we go. So once that's uploaded, you'll be able to select Use Photo. Okay, so just to, to go over, we've put a title of our service, we've put the price of our service, we've put a description of our service, and we've uploaded a photograph. So then you just click Save. What that does is it will enter it into the area where you can actually go back into and edit or adjust or move around the widget. Now just to go over that again, I'm going to add my second service. So I'm going to go and get the title. And I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to put the price. And I'm going to add a description. Like so. Then I'm going to add a photograph. Again, I prepared one a bit earlier. So we'll wait for that to upload. And then you press use photo. So this is the second one. Title, price, description, photograph. Press save. Okay, so now I've added two service widgets, but I would like my social media training to go higher up than the WordPress training, purely because we're on a social media platform. If people have discovered my page when they're searching for help on social media, then they can look at the service that I offer, and the most applicable one to them whilst they're on a social media platform would be the social media training. Now, you've done those two things. Both of your um, services are ready to publish, but what you need to do is you have to go here on the right-hand side and click the button that says not visible to make it visible. So as you can see, visitors to your page will be able to see your services if they are visible. The services won't be shown on your page if they're not visible. So we're just going to click that like that and you're going to get a little warning to say yes, that's okay. So then we're going to press OK. Okay, so what that does is it publishes it to your page. Now to check what it looks like, you can um, go to the home button. And then just scroll down and as you can see, you have an, a section now for services. Now if you want to view it 
as if you were a visitor, you can go to the little more section and click view as page visitor. That sometimes gives you an idea of what it would look like if somebody was searching for you. And then when they land on your page, this is what they'll see. They'll see your services straight away at the top and the price, which is really good because when people land on your page, they immediately know what you offer. You can have more than two. Obviously, take a bit of time to work out what your key priority services are. Um, there was a restriction previously to three services, but I believe that you can have up to six. Um, now, one of the things you can do if you really, really want to showcase your services in the tabs as well is to move the position of the tabs um, up and down. So at the moment, I've got home about posts, reviews, services. If you want that to change, you'd have to go back to your managing view. And at the bottom here, you just click manage tabs. And that will open up a window for you to change them around. Now, at the moment, it's set on a default of the positions that, of the tabs that they think are the most useful. So I'm going to um, probably leave it as it is actually, because that's probably okay. I might just put it one above the posts and I'm going to move the posts down below my reviews. And I think I'm going to put the likes up here as well, because I'd quite like people to know how many people like my page. Okay, so that's that. So we go back to the page. And as you can see, it's moved up the listing. Okay, so I hope you found that um, useful of how to set a service tab on your business Facebook page. If you know anyone else that would benefit from my Facebook tips, then please direct them to my um, Bommy Media page for the sign up. And um, I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you.